around along Tri-Cities roads will undergo a new round of safety tests next week at a facility in California. The Virginia Department of Transportation says it wants to make sure the ET Plus end terminal is safe, so VDOT will pay for its own testing of a product already deemed safe by the Federal Highway Administration. It's a major development and the ongoing controversy over the ET Plus. It's a black and yellow striped metal plate meant to curl back metal guardrails in head-on crashes. But critics say a secretive change by the manufacturer Trinity Industries back in 2005 caused the end terminal to fail, leading to guardrails impaling cars, critically injuring, even killing drivers. And that's a claim Trinity firmly denies. After crash safety tests last December, the Federal Highway Administration ruled ET Plus had passed, that the product was perfectly safe. So why is VDOT doing tests of its own on this guardrail all around the Tri-Cities? We asked VDOT that question repeatedly for two weeks now and have gotten no response. But our investigations uncovered what appears to be the real reason. This letter from Virginia's Attorney General's Office to lawyers for Trinity Industries reveals the critical information that VDOT will do its own testing of the ET Plus N terminal because the federal test conducted last December tests ET Plus passed according to the Federal Highway Administration did not include what's called a low angle test. A crash test which Trinity admitted a similar product had failed at least once before. Quote, it would be a dereliction of duty for Virginia to fail to perform the low angle test. Virginia is simply doing what it feels it needs to do for public safety. But Trinity Industries blasted back. A spokesman said, quote, VDOT's plan to test only the ET Plus system using arbitrary and non-standard tests is being done to support its litigation agenda and with the specific intent to make the product fail, end quote. Attorney General Mark Herring is suing Trinity, claiming the company committed fraud. Trinity said if VDOT really cared about safety, it would subject all its approved products to the same low-angle crash test, which it has not. Since VDOT's brief statement confirming the new independent crash tests, the state has released no specifics, despite our repeated requests for information. But News Channel 11 has learned VDOT recently hired a California company called Carco Engineering to conduct crash tests on the ET Plus starting September 17th, including those low angle tests, the source of so much controversy. You know, all this matters because this is a product on roads all around the Tri-Cities and across the country. We know of at least one death in a crash in which a car hit the ET Plus guardrail here in the Tri-Cities. And that's now the focus of a lawsuit, one of several lawsuits across the country. None of them have been heard or ruled on. They are all still waiting to be tried in court.